Lucas Media. Don't forget to like button, subscribe, y'all. So, Coach Prime and Colorado Buffalo has played their final game of the season since they are ineligible for the bowl against uh, Utah. And Colorado was currently four and seven at the time. And they end up losing to Utah, which is seven. They end up losing to Utah 17 to 23. Now, Shador Sanders did not play. I do want to mention that. And the backup quarterback, Ryan Staub, got in. And he went 17 of 24 for 195 yards. Travis Hutton was a leading receiver. And he went for 107 yards and a touchdown. And unfortunately, their leading rusher, uh, Wilkerson, only rushed for 32 yards of the game. Now, Coach Prime is very optimistic about the offseason and just about their overall first year at Colorado. He said he was not surprised, meaning he, he noticed gaps that they were missing before everybody else did but they started out hot and every they were america's team college team everybody wanted to be a part of them and then once they went to eugene they lost their last eight of nine now, when coach prime did an interview the uh, earlier this past week he said he looked at the season as success due to everything being better from the record to the attendance um you see more alumni now that are being seen and you know you see celebrities at every at least at the beginning of the season at every game but you know they stopped being so high and ESPN and Fox kind of jumped off the bandwagon a little bit however there is a, a very bright side as I mentioned number one they have won three more games than they did last year so no, no matter how you However you say it, it was already a success. And any any school or athletic director will tell you that if you improve every year, what really can you can you say? And they're actually doing pretty good as well on the recruiting trail. Um, they actually just landed a four-star recruit down here in Georgia. And they also had got a few more... But, a few more recruits and a four star recruit. It was on cams. Uh, it is what it is. They was able to do it on there. So shout out to that. So that lets you know that they are in tune with the culture. And give me one moment, y'all. Let me pull up the young man's name. Oh, I found him, y'all. Cameron. Uh, Mikhail, he's got a nickname uh, like Killer Cam from the the rapper Killer Killer Cam. So you got him, and then you got a couple other players, including two more prospects down here in Georgia. Shout out to the state of Georgia. We normally got some of the best athletes in the country. It's not even a debatable, and a lot of Colorado fans will more than likely see kids. A lot of kids start coming from the state of Georgia. But they're going to do pretty well in the offseason. Shador is going to get healthy. Um, they need a better offensive line, defensive line. I'm sure they'll get that through recruiting class, the transfer portal. Shador is going to get better. I'm sure he'll. You know, he's going to come back for one more year. He's going to be the quarterback, the face of college football. And I think he'll be favored to win the Heisman next year after Coach Prime to do a whole lot of recruiting. Now, will they win every game in the Big 12? I don't think so. But I do think that they'll be bowl eligible and they'll do really good on the recruiting trail this year and for the years upcoming. But, man, people got to give Coach Prime a break. I mean, this is your first season. You really couldn't recruit like the way you the way you did you know you need at least a couple of years to get your classes in 
So we got to remember that things takes time and he's building a foundation. You saw it. You saw everybody at the games, right? CC Sabathia was at the game. Uh, Stephen A. and Shannon was out there flying private and putting it online. And you've seen anybody you can think of. Every rapper and entertainer, whoever, the who's who was at those games a lot of times. Even Phil Knight came out at Eugene to talk to, to Dion because it's so big. So it's going to be pretty cool, man, to watch to watch Dion build this team from the ground up. It's beautiful out there. And all you got, all the recruits got to go out there to take a couple of visits, and I'm sure it'll be sold. So I'm going to ride with Coast Prime, as y'all should too, because it's only going to get better and better from there. But what y'all think about all this?